Okay, good evening. Um, I am an archivist at the Historical Archive of the European Union, and I will talk about the Historical Archive of the European Investment Bank. Uh, the European Investment Bank was founded by the Treaties of Rome and uh, started its activity in uh, 1958 as an autonomous financial body. Uh, its main mission is to contribute through investments to the development, the economic and social cohesion, and the integration of the EU member states. The European Investment Bank also supports the EU development uh, policy worldwide. And its uh, ar historical archives is deposited in the historical archive of the European Union, which is part of the European University Institute, and is the official archives for the historical document of the EU institutions after a period of 30 years. As an European institution, the European Investment Bank signed its first uh, contract of deposit in 2005. And uh, from, 2000, uh, from two years ago, the, investment, the European Investment Bank is part of the new framework partnership agreement signed between the historical archives and all the EU institutions. In 2009, two fundamental texts were posted on the website of the bank about the rules governing the availability and the transparency of its archives. In the review of public disclosure policy, we can read, the European Investment Bank's disclosure policy is founded on a presumption of disclosure of information in line with the EU legislation. Those of the uh, EU member states and internationally accepted principles. All information held by the bank is subject to disclosure upon request unless there is a compelling reason for non-disclosure. So, under the terms of the contract of deposit, the bank sent to Florence, because we are in Florence, all the declassified original paper files uh, in every language in which they appeared, and also their digitalized versions. In fact, all the original papers are digitalized by the bank. The files are inventory by the historical archives, meaning by me, and made available to the public via internet uh, in the form of PDF downloadable. The European Investment Bank funds count nowadays almost 1,400 inventory files. A huge part are publications, because they send it also, and the other part are historical records. Among the historical records deposited at the historical archives of the European Union, we have uh, two series concerning the creation of the bank. The first series concerning the creation of the bank groups principally around 24, 23 files of documents collected between October and December 1956 by uh, Sertoli, who at the time was secretary of the Adoc group emanating from the Intergovernmental Conference for the Common Market at Neuratom. These documents, such as draft of statutes, uh, minutes of meetings, working documents, reports uh, of the Adoc group, illustrate all the preliminary proposal and the preparatory work related to the creation. The second series about the creation of the bank concerns the various phases of the search for headquarters and the almost endless search for suitable premises. So from the period of the temporary move uh, of the bank to Bruxelles in 1958 up to the construction and the move after that uh, to the actual premises in uh, Plateau de Kirchberg in Luxembourg at the beginning of the 1980s. About the, the other series, we have an important series about the activities of the, invest, the European Investment Bank. Uh, 
One of the series which give a good view of these activities are, and of the decision making are the minutes of the board of director meetings from the beginning, from 1958 to the 80s. The board of directors has sole power to take decision in respect of loans, guarantee and borrowing. And they meet around 10 times a year and each uh, minutes of meeting include apart from the member list and the agenda, uh, also the deliberation and the decision made uh, for the loan pro proposal and uh, the loan programs. About the main activity of the bank, uh, which is the, the, the series that is most consulted by the research community, it's the group of the project of loans carried out by the bank between April 19. 59 uh, to May 1971. We are talking about 26 projects financed by the bank during this period. In the 25 were carried out in the member countries, in the Europe of the six at the time, and especially in the south of Italy, but also in France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and uh, the Federal Republic of Germany, and one project also in the Ivory Coast. Each project involves the creation of many files that document or, and illustrate all the different steps uh, of the realization. So we have the uh, preliminary, preliminary files, but we also have the legal files uh, concerning the elaboration of the contracts, the contract, the original contract signed, and after that we have also all the control files and the financial files and the accountancy details. The bank declassified also a series of historical records about the relation with the member states and especially in the key period of the first enlargement of the European communities and the matter of the adhesion of these candidate countries to the status of the European Investment Bank. So, uh, these files are the testimony of a long and difficult negotiation regarding fixing the financial contribution of the candidate countries, uh, the subscribed uh, capital, the necessary changes in the agriculture or regional policies, etc., and so on. Another series uh, of files concern the relations between the European Investment Bank with some international banking community or financial bodies. And in that case, they send the documents about the relation with the World Bank. This series regards the relation uh, between the, the bank in uh, Luxembourg and the World Bank between 1958 to the 80s. Even if they are really different institutions, in terms of uh, their function, but also their tax and their history, they have uh, they met quite often, and this uh, document, uh, these reports, notes, or working document, uh, testimony, the, the 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 exchange and the emulation in the context of a constant reflection on work procedures. Last but not least, a very interesting series is um, about a lesser known activity of the European Investment Bank, which are the aid, donation and subsidies. During the period 1958 to the 80s again, this series deals in fact with the agreement of subsidies in the annual report where the beneficiary was under no obligation to reimburse under strictly defined conditions. Um, the, these donation aids are allocated by the bank between 58 and 80, went towards the reconstruction of countries eaten by climatic catastrophes, earthquakes or armed conflict, like in, uh, after the war, civil war in Lebanon. But they went towards also the support for cultural programs or the protection of the country's heritages. Unfortunately, the European Investment Bank is quite late in its uh, declassification process, and especially concerning the historical records of the loans contracts, which have been declassified only until uh, 1971. So we strongly hope that this year, which is the 60th anniversary of the 
European Investment Bank, we will, uh, it will be the occasion to transfer new historical records to the historical archives of the European Union and to open it for the research community and the public. Thank you. <laughs>